We're joined with Paul and Joe from the Lays Down Carnival Committee. Firstly, welcome along to the show. Thank you, uh, Daniel. Paul, uh, to start us off, what is your role in the Lays Down Carnival Committee? Well, I'm been voted in as chairman um, and Joe is our carnival secretary. We and the other members of the committee are trying to uh, get applications through for licenses, road closure, risk assessments and all the paperwork involved in that. We're talking to local traders, parks, bars etc and getting everyone working together for the common good. Hopefully it'll make the event a, a great success. Joe, can you tell us about this year's carnival? Yeah, this, this carnival is a weekend full of events and it starts on Saturday the 31st of July with the Grand Parade and it'll include the carriage carrying the Crown's Carnival Queen and runners-up, her princesses and runners-up. Also in the procession will be the glamorous grandmother and the baby princesses. We're welcoming carnival courts from other parts of Kent as procession entrance. Are there any events leading up to the carnival pole? Yes Daniel, there are heats for the carnival queen, princesses etc as well as the gram uh, glamorous grandmother. These have been running bars and parks around Laysdown with the final taking place on Friday the 9th of July. We are joined with Paul and Joe telling us all about this year's Laysdown Carnival. We're joined back with Paul and Joe and we're talking all about the Laysdown Carnival this year. Um, what will be in the carnival procession this year? Well, in the run-up to the road closure, there'll be helpers selling fun bits and bobs, moving around the crowds. Sheppy Zulus will be supporting us again this year, and they'll be collecting donations in our buckets. It'll be no good hiding in pubs or bars, as they will come in and find you. They may even stay and have a drink with you, but only if you're buying. Sheppy Pirates are also supporting us this year and will be acting as marshals with the floats, as well as coming back at the end of August. We have bands busking in the area to entertain the, the, the crowds in the run-up to the parade. And we're lucky to have the Chinese Lion again to start the parade, and that will be started with the invited guests being asked to paint the eyes, which then brings this ancient animal to life. Then they perform the good luck dance, which signals the start of the procession. Uh, it seems like a lot of organising. Are you getting any help from uh, other organisations? We're most grateful to the E News, which is the Event Marshals Unit in Sheppey, who will be overseeing our event from the car parks, the float marshalling areas, as well as the main procession. Without these people who volunteer their, and give their time up very freely, events like this could not be staged. On the spinny during the day, there'll be many good causes and charity stalls for people to walk around. We're also going to have some groups to raise awareness and they're joining us on the green. The fun fair will be there with a kiddie ride and a couple of sideshows. This is very much smaller than in the past because we need the space for the stalls and for the audience on the Sunday. I should also like to add, Daniel, that we're grateful to BRFM as well as you will have your road show on the spinny all weekend. On the Saturday some local acts will also be entertaining everyone in front of the uh, BRFM Roadshow and on the Sunday we hope that you will be able to record some of the bands and singers for us. What time does the procession start and what is the route it's uh, going to take? It's planned to start at 3 with the road closed. The Chinese lion dance will signal the start. Paul, will you run through the route? The route is left out of the marshalling field onto Laysdown Road then a long, long lays down road until the promenade where we turn, turn left, down the promenade to Manor Way where we turn right, then right again into Nuts Avenue, and right onto lays down road again where it will return back to the marshalling field. So when all the floats have returned, all the entrants will be accompanied to the Little Groves Club, where the Mayor of Swale will be invited to present the cups to the winning floats. There are many after-parade parties in bars and clubs in the area, so why not stay a while and enjoy the celebrations? We are joined with Paul and Joe, and we're talking all about this year's Lays Down Carnival. We're joined with Paul and Joe, we're talking all about this year's Lays Down Carnival. Now I understand it's a weekend event this year. Yes, Daniel. On the Sunday, the 1st of August, we have a free showcase event taking place on the Spinney from 11am to 6pm. There's a full programme with dancers, groups, singers and bands performing throughout the day. 
The show will change every half hour. This is a non-stop show with over a hundred performers, almost all from this island. Please come and support them. During the interval we plan to have a drill off between the Sea Cadets, the Air Training Corps and the Army Cadets and it will be judged by the audience to see who is the best cadet team at drill. There is also a grand draw from the programme which will be £100 first place, £50 second place and £25 for third place. We will be asking for donations throughout the weekend but during the interval after their drill off the cadets will be collecting for the Holcomb family's charities. For those who don't know, the Holcombs are entering a float again this year for Help for Heroes. They requested this a few weeks after the sad loss of Daniel, one of their brave sons. So again, please help us to help them. The second half of the showcase will give everyone the chance to watch the performers as they've had time to change their costumes and will be singing new numbers or dancing to new numbers. The many months of rehearsals and dedications of the performers, this will make the showcase a spectacular event. You say dancers, groups, singers and uh, bands. Will any of these be known to our listeners? Yes, Daniel, I think most of them will be. We have the Helen K School of Dancing, Razzmatazz Theatre School, the Big Theatre Company Band, the Marjorie Hawkins Academy of Irish Dancing and Loose Change Band as well as Up Your Viva Diva. We are joined with Paul and Joe, and we're talking all about this year's Lays Down Carnival.